All right there, shall make Yorkie here, bring you uh, the start of a new run, um, Football Manager 2024. Now I consider myself an amateur because I haven't done a lot of Football Manager in years. I have played a little bit on uh, FM23 and I think FM21 or 19, and I did start a game on this. But when I say a little bit, I'm talking about a few hours. I have no Zealand here. And any of the other big uh, YouTubers. So this, if anyone's watching, you want to give me some help, some advice. I want this to say I'll take all the advice, but I will listen to it. Anyway, this is going to be non-leaked legend, which, as I'm sure you're aware, means you start out in the lowest league possible in uh, the club that's closest to your front door. And you try and reach the heights. Can I even do that? questionable but I'm modifying it some because I live in the USA now but I've no interest in managing outside of the British Isles so rather than non-league to legend which is what it will essentially be I'm starting unemployed and I can only apply for lowest league jobs start a new game career and starting job unemployed Choose game mode. We're going to go for an advanced setup. And I'm going to start up with uh, all the five British Isles uh, nations. All of, the, uh, all of them playable. And all of them in the lowest leagues possible in those nations. That game. Alright, let's get in there. See you on Twitter. Just before we go in here, um, it sets you up uh, as having national B license as so under league player. Under league player is the least you can be. But I'm not even letting myself have a national B license. I'm going no license at all. I'm going to be lucky to have anyone look at me. Right, over to the job center. And filter. I'm only looking at head coach positions. Just club. And only the bottom ones. Van Rama North or South. First Northern Ireland All League Premier Intermediate. Uh, Since League Two. And Cymru North and South. Did I not have Scotland? Oh, that's since League 2. That's uh, England, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. I have uh, Planilos, Teflin and Finn Harps. All right then. Let's apply for these. OK. 
camp freshen up. Social feed. Tell me social feed, that's fine. Well, Nick lost job application received. Trenefflin, uh, Trefellin, BGC, job application received. Been happed, received. Probably rejected on all of them. And we'll just have to see what we can get. Question 442's Locus Wells. I'll respond to see if we can build some image. Are you open to working abroad? Buying abroad. I haven't given that much thought, to be perfectly honest. Outside the British Isles? No, because I don't even have those set up. First week gone. Inbox. York KG with media. Is that what we're going to call it? On to a press conference. Okay, no, that was uh, that was a press conference I just had. Weekly jobs update. Those are insecure. Irish Premier. Irish First. I think it's Irish First that is the least, isn't the lowest, isn't it? Where does it say? Yeah. So I can apply in the Irish first. Not Irish Premier. York wants Longford job. Yorkie York had sold the Irish Soccer Gazette of his desire to replace Stephen Henderson as the head coach of Longford. York, who is currently unemployed, is considered an outsider to place Henderson. If the town decides to part with him and um, the decision to express an interest in public arena appears rather desperate. Yeah, well, I am kind of desperate right now. I've got no income. Question from the Irish Soccer Gazette. Uh, okay, what do you want? What should actions be linked to the Longford job? It's an honour to be even associated, isn't it? In the wake of speculation linking into vacant position in, uh, at Longford, York York has said it would be interesting taking over from Stephen Henderson at Bishopsgate. York, who is currently without a club, told the media that Longford were a fantastic club and would love to become their head coach. Been Hope perhaps offered job interview. Oh, possibly got one at Finn Harps and so did Treflin. Following your application for the Finn Harps job, the board have invited you to attend an interview with them discuss your vacancy. The interview will give you the opportunity to discuss the suitability uh, for the role and allow us to discuss our ambitions. Attend interview. Hello Yorkie, we've invited you along today so we can put forward our vision of the club and allow you to suggest any alterations uh, for us to consider should we decide to hire you. All right, it's great to be here, let's get started. Can you explain why you appear to be interested in running uh, for a few jobs right now? Well, there's no tra point in uh, trying to find it, is there? So, um, any means necessary just sounds mercenary. Nobody else's business but mine is dismissive and they're not going to like it. I don't think it's an unreasonable number of clubs to be talking to. Merely considering my options, that's possible. I know how it might look, but let's just go with that. So it's up to you as to whether it rules me out of contention. I'm more than prepared to withdraw from all of them if it's a red line. The club has been underperforming for far too long. Are you the right person to turn things around? I don't think the club is underperforming. They've already told me it is, so I'm not going to say that. That's just rude. Uh, I'd make one or two small adjustments. Nope. I'm motivated. I'm all, I've always adopted a positive attitude 
and it's infection in the locker room. A happy squad is a winning squad. Uh, I have no reputation, so there's no point in that. Ability and experience, I have none of that. There we go. Would you be able to take charge straight away or until later today? I'm open when you need me, mate. <laughs> I'm eager to start working. We understand the importance of having the right coaching staff in place when a head coach moves to a new club. So we're willing to allow you to request any changes you would like to make to our current coaching staff. What sort of budget would you be looking to make uh, these changes? I'm a nobody. I've got no right to ask for anything. I don't want to propose any changes in advance of taking on the role, so no budget will be required. Do you have any thoughts on the club's long-term view? Let's see. Board culture. Strive to make progress on and off pitch. Uh, actionable objectives. Work within payroll budgets. Oh, there's probably not going to be much room for expansion. Grow the club's reputation. That's favoured. Mm -hmm. Informational objectives. Maximum one-year contract for players over the age of 33. Yeah, fine. Minimum two-year contract for first-team players. Okay. End of current season. Reach the first division playoffs. So we need to be high up there. Be competitive in the senior club. Uh, club. Well, we will say we can do it. Whether we can or not is another matter. Uh, I'd be happy working with these proposals. Should you be hired? The expectation is for the club to finish mid-table. Is that fair? Or do you think you could improve on that somewhat? If given the job, I think I could go slightly beyond the proposed expectation and compete for a playoff place. They, they expect me to do that anyway, so... What do you think of a proposed payroll of... The hundred and thirty three oh it's hundred in dollars. I need to change that. Per annum should you get the job. Be happy to work with a proposed payroll, should I get the role? Big enough budget to attract a quality player required. Oh that's the oh that's the payroll, not my pay. Duh. That's not a lot. But I have no I have no ability to deal with anyone here. I just have to go with agreeing. Do you have anything for us to consider? Should we no, I'm good, thanks. That's all of the questions that we have to for you today. We would like you to uh, thank you for attending the interview. And thank you. We've meeting. Treflen. Let's see what they have to say. Oh crap, I didn't do it. Longford fans laugh off interest from York at York. I screwed up and did take that, damn it. Uh, Long a Longford supporter spokesperson has trashed speculation that the club will seek to replace Stephen Henderson with York at York, who they claim has no chance of getting the job. They categorically dismissed York at York's interest in the job, stating that they would not consider other candidates while Henderson was still an employee at the club. York is currently unemployed. Yes, I am. Finn Harps interview unsuccessful. No surprise. Murphy takes Finn Harps. Gillingham taken. Kate said, all right. Can we get a job? Where can we get a job? We'll get one sometime. Bradford hot seat taken. Uh, I want to do some setup here. Preferences. Down Sterling. There we are. Language English. Uh, I think we're okay with the rest of that. Unless... Yep, that's all good. Continue. Weekly jobs update. Got two in the first division. Longford still. Tommy Brett. 
I don't think I should looking at that. I shouldn't show interest into things that still have a manager. Williams take London Law's hot seat. Damn it. Job center. Uh, Treflin still don't have one, so let's continue there. Inbox. Ran me a taken. Uh, filed higher curl as manager. Young man, take Treflin BGC hot seat. Moving through the months here. Well, still in July, of course. At the job center, no. Some insecure ones there, but nothing lost. This takes mill wall, okay. Can we get anywhere? Heading towards the start of the seasons for real. Nothing new there. Anything new coming up? Inbox. Stephen Henderson has been sacked by Longford Town. Chairperson Jim Henley. Henderson's departure is thought to have been triggered by the club's poor league position, forcing the town into a decision. Henderson, 57, has accumulated 18 years of experience. He likes the Shelbourne FC and Cobra Rangers. Henderson had been manager at Longford since November 2022. Longford are currently lying in ninth place in the Irish First Division. Longford Town have won one, lost two, and drawn two over their last five matches. That's not good. Henderson famously suffered the ignominy of being knocked out of the Senior Challenge Cup by Blue Bell United. Longford will now be looking for a new manager. Job Centre. Longford. Apply. And the application is received. Oh, we've got more. I'm going to actually put some interest into these. Uh, Yeri Cymru North, Irish First, Treaty United, Irish First, Kerry. Not once Kerry, Relief Football Times, Sean Fitzgerald. Uh, I'm just going to say it's an honour every time. Hopefully one of these buggers will actually believe me. Uh, Scario is reporting that Yorkie has already made contact with the Seasiders. Okay. Anything where I can apply, I will do. Anything where I can show interest, I will do. Because honestly, being viewed as not good because I'm applying everywhere. Well, I got no, I got no history, and I got no. Kerry fans laugh off the application, of course they do. Probably virtually everyone is until I get a job somewhere. 
Oh, job. Uh. I've already declared interest. I don't need to do it again, I don't think. And don't know. I don't know if I've applied, uh, shown interest in that one. We'll have a look. Long for job application unsuccessful. Pretty much expected. Gonna be bouncing around until we get somewhere. Press that and haven't showed interest in that. Orange took over Longford. I'll take a job anywhere at this point, I'm telling you. Come on. Yeah, none of them are interested. <clears throat> Into September already. Or in life question. Are you all concerned being a little rusty? I know there's always work to do, but I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. I'm not really turning down any questions. Because uh, I don't know, but that might boost my reputation a little bit or show people I'm interested up for the job, up for the challenge that poor trainer is feeling rusty that's not good question from a long league paper Steve Smith is reportedly on the verge of losing a job at Bishop Stortford Changes made, would you be uh, keen on taking such a role? Where are they, Bishop Stortford? National League North, yes, I absolutely would. Any manager would love to have a crack at that job. Well, probably not anyone, but I would. 442, Lucas Willis. Wickham, I think is too high for me. Yeah, I can't take that. That's a very capable manager. Don't think he needs us to add any weight to an already tremendous situation. Okay. Dog targets Bishop Stortford. Not interested in Wickham. Dismissed. Your question? Do you want to say anything about the presence of Steve, precious Steve Smith under Bishop Stortford? Not my place to comment. I'm not going to start any crap with them because it's possible I'll be able to get the job. KG, that's fine in this particular case. What else? Weekly jobs update. Treaty United. Warrington. Bishop Stortford. 
Danbury, Sligo, Crida. Why can't I do it? I can do that one, which is Warrington. I can do that one. Yes. 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 Monstrogada. What do you have to say to those who claim your current recent probably reeks of desperation? How anyone know exactly what I've been up to is beyond me. Not cagey with media, eyes drogada. They're dismissing it. I don't think I'm going to get any of these. <laughs> I wonder when or if I'll get a job. Weekly jobs update. Connor's key. Yeah, we're not putting for Sheffield United, I don't think. Actually, I don't think that's the bottom one in Wales, is it? Oh, it's not, so I can't apply for that one. <coughs> National League North. Irish Premier. <laughs> Hang on, is Premier Premier's not uh, bottom, is it? No, it's Irish first. I can't play in Premier. So there's only Banbury. Hmm. <coughs> and I can't. All right, going forward. Drogada is relegated to our uh, first division. Doherty sacked by Drogada. And then now in the first division. What about Job Centre? None. Unemployed for some time. What are your plans for the immediate future? Uh, I think short-term position would be ideal now. Somewhere I can go with a clear task to achieve. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, Moila Park. Okay, so that's what I can apply for. I tell you to do it, do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you prepared to address the speculation linking you with? Yeah, I'm prepared. And imagine it would be interesting the job. Interesting challenge. Solid hold motors. <coughs> uh, my old park fans consider York leading candidate. My old uh, park supporters spokesperson admitted that York York is among their leading candidates for the manager's job. York is currently unemployed. Interesting. Wow, sacked by Barrow. Caddy sacked by. And then we've got Warrington. <laughs> we can do Hereford and Warrington as well. I think I'm going to hold, I don't know if I should hold on and apply to those. I'll hold on until I get an interview or a rejection. Warrington offered job interview, I didn't even apply to them. You're more impressed with your record. What record? Which is why we identified you as one of our top candidates. Okay, let's go. Twenty-fourth in National League North. They are bottom of the table. Wow. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. We believe you could be the manager we want to take the club forward, but uh, I'd like to ask a few questions first. Glad you give me the chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. Are you willing to assure us that you'd do a better job of meeting expectations than your potential uh, predecessor did? Uh, that promise is a bit silly. As part of the recruitment process, we are willing to allow you to request changes. Uh, I'm not going to ask for a budget for that. Work within. Avoid relegation. Also, that's a requirement because if they get relegated, it's over. Competitive, okay. We'll we'll accept that. Yep. Aiming to avoid relegation, is that something you think is attainable? I'm I'm not gonna say we can exceed it, not when we nail to the bottom of the table. But I'll agree to it. You think of the proposed transfer budget of two point eight five K? I can do some loans and some uh freebie signings perhaps. Proposed budget of 292,000. Yeah, we'll say yes. They're not going to attack me if I don't say yes. Any, requ any requests? No, I'm fine. All right. Warrington job in uh, interview done. Let's see what we get. Job advert. Ballin, uh, Ballin and Mallard uh, United.
No Champions League, that's too high. <coughs> Kennedy sack by Lincoln. <coughs> Warrington approach York. Bear with me a second. Warrington Town have offered you a one-year contract at 14.5... Oh, 14.75 thousand. Her Adam to take the managerial job at Unis Compliance Stadium, believing you to be the ideal person to replace ex-manager Nick Beasley. Please be aware that in the event of the club being relegated, we've been able to con consider you keeping the role. Yeah, I also expected. <coughs> So, work within wage, grow the club's reputation, avoid relegation, be competitive, be competitive. Record Van Ram and North, top half finish, but these are future seasons, we may not even be here then. Start negotiations. <coughs> and I don't really see that there's anything else I can ask for, so I'm going to finalise the deal. Please, everything was sorted out so quickly, me too! Warrington Town, higher York. Warrington have today confirmed the appointment of Yorkie York as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of an experienced 55-year-old and he's sure uh, to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at the Eunice Compliance Stadium. He replaced the previous manager, Nick Beasley. Jonathan Ringmington was considered to be favourite for the job, but it is unclear whether the club favoured York all along. Warrington are currently 24th in the Van Rama National League. Warrington have lost three of their last five games in the league. <coughs> Excuse me. 1 2, lost 2, drawn 1. Alright, my friends, that's where we're going to end for today. Join us next time as we pick up the reins at Warrington.